Oh, the stories we tell ourselves and we don't even realize how much these stories we tell ourselves are holding us back from creating the business of our dreams, the life of our dreams. So I had two people say this this week and it just made me realize, oh my God, the bullshit we tell ourselves. Huh. So I am Erin Birch. I help people grow an online business from anywhere in the world so they can live their perfect lifestyle. That is my goal. Doing it for myself, so why not do it for a whole bunch of other people too, right? So anyway, I wanted to talk about this today. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Hey Diane, I wanted to talk about this because I had two separate people say this and I went, holy crap, they're never gonna have success as long as they continue to tell themselves this. So it came up where I asked these, these two individuals, um, so you know what to do to grow your business, but why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing what you know you need to do? And the response from these two amazing individuals whom I love and adore both said, you know what they said? Because I don't want to have to travel all the time. I don't want to create huge success in my business because I don't want to have to travel all the time. And I thought, oh my God, is that why you're not working your business? And my response was, well, you don't have to. Who says you're going to have to travel all the time? And these are two people who see me traveling all the time. So I simply explained, I travel all the time because I want to travel all the time. No one is making me travel. If I don't want to travel, then I won't bloody well travel. I will stay at home and not go anywhere. Right? So this is the BS story that these two people have been telling themselves that have completely held them back. Now, talk about self-sabotage. So here's the thing too, right? All you have to do when something like this comes up, when you say something like this to yourself, just, just do this. Ask yourself this question. Now, come on, girlfriend. Is this a story you're telling yourself or is this true? Because when you become ultra aware of the shit you are telling, the, the things, not, not all of it's BS obviously, but when you're aware of the things that you say to yourself and you can recognize when it is simply a story you are telling yourself, you are allowing yourself to self-sabotage you, right? And you're never going to be able to create that business or that life of your dreams, right? Just like for example, if you go, well, no one's going to love me because I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'm not smart enough. I'm too, too, too fat, too, too whatever. Guess what? If you're saying that shit to yourself, no one will love you. Because if you don't love yourself, no one can love you back, right? So if your thoughts aren't in alignment, right? If you're feeling shitty about yourself, how is that going to attract anyone? It's not because it's not in alignment with what you want. You've got to get your thoughts in alignment with what you want, right? And why is it we started a home business in the first place? So that we could create the lifestyle we wanted, right? So if the lifestyle you want is you spending time on your farm, then awesome, make it bloody well happen, right? If your lifestyle that you want is, sorry, there's an airplane going overhead. I'm actually at the beach right now. Um, if the lifestyle you want is so that you can simply golf every afternoon of your day, awesome, you get to create that right? You get to create whatever you want, but not if you're allowing yourself to believe a bunch of crap that's floating around in your mind. Isn't it fun, the subconscious? It can be our best friend and it can be our worst enemy. So I always really encourage people to become ultra aware of the thoughts that are swirling around in your head because not all of them are self-serving right? And when you can recognize when they're not serving you well and nip it in the butt and go, what a load of crap that is. That's not even true. I'm not believing that anymore. When you can recognize that, that is the first step to changing 
to reprogramming your brain. And it's a beautiful thing when you can do that. When you can completely control your thoughts, you can completely control your emotions, then you can completely control your moods, and that's what creates your personality, right? So this is how you can completely change your life is simply by being ultra aware of your thoughts. You are in complete control for creating whatever kind of life you want, right? But your thoughts have to be in alignment with what you want. So telling yourself you don't want success for certain reasons is going to stop you from ever creating that success, right? Um, so for other people, a lot of times people are like, well, I don't want the responsibility that comes with success. I'm going to have all these people clamoring for my attention. Uh, well, you get to pick and choose who gets your attention, don't ya? Right? Or I'm going to have no time for myself anymore. Well, just learn to delegate, delegate and outsource or take less on. You are in complete control of these things. Do you see how these thoughts can just stop you in your tracks when you actually have a lot more control over your situation than sometimes you realize, right? A lot of times people are like, well, along with success become, comes money and then you know, everybody's gonna want a piece of me or then I'm gonna have to think about what to do with that money or blah, 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 blah. That is so overthinking. It's almost as if you're looking for excuses to stop you from taking action. Now that is the definition of self-sabotage, is it not? Is it not? Oh my God. Hey, Marty, how's it going? Hey, Todd. Uh, so there's my thought for th for today. It uh, really kind of, um, what would be the word, freaked me out or made me sad when I heard these people say that. And it's like, oh God, you're making excuses. Or if you're really thinking that, then there's some work to be done with your own thoughts before you're ever able to create success, right? You get to create whatever you want in this life. Right? You've got to realize that you have full control over that. So ask yourself, really? Is that true? What I just thought? Or am I telling myself a bullshit story? Chances are, <laughs> oftentimes, it is a bullshit story. And then you go, huh, am I going to continue to believe that piece of BS? Or am I going to get rid of it and start taking action and take charge of my results? take charge of my life because choice is yours choice of yours it's a beautiful beautiful thing when you really understand how, just how much control you have over creating what you want right be a creator not a victim see that would be a victim mentality wouldn't it well I can't I don't want to really create really big success because then there's gonna be all these demands on my time Blah, 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 my energy, all this stuff. That's a story. You get to choose what you do with your time. You get to choose who gets your energy. You get to choose what you do with your own money too, right? So don't, don't give in to your own unserving thoughts. Holy crap. Because they can take, take, take control. And then you, find, then you find yourself in victim mode mentality, thinking that you're just a victim of your circumstances when in fact you have complete control over everything that happens to you. So I hope that helps you out. If you got any value from this, comment, like, and share. That is always appreciated, my friends. If you know somebody who could really do with hearing this information, if you think it's going to kick them into action mode, whether it be their business or their life, it's all tied. It's all connected, right? That's a helicopter. Um, so it's all tied in, right? I mean, if your thoughts are working against you, you're not going to be able to create success in any area of your life, right? So just take control of your thoughts, take control of your life. Anyway, that is it for me today, you guys. Hey, Debbie, how's it going? So have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. It is always appreciated and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.